Hai semua, uh, kita sambung dengan saya bagi contoh example 2 untuk topik non-isothermal reactor. So for example, the questions looks like this. Um, a. Producing B with a reversible reaction. Reversible reaction A kepada B, kemudian B kepada A. Uh, in which A kepada B with rate constant of K1, B kepada A with rate constant of K1. Uh, minus 1. So it's stated here, the reaction is liquid phase reaction. So, and this reaction is um, in a diabetic mode, uh, mode. So the question asks you to determine the diabetic temperature when conversion um, of pure A is fed to one reactor at temperature fit of 300 Kelvin. So Meaning that um, this this question answer uh, uh, asks you to find um, what is the final temperature after the reaction happens, and um, and for that also um, uh, this question asks you what's the conversion. So this example is quite direct actually. So because. Um, because this is just practice and example because um, later in your final assessment the question is more uh, open-ended in which that you have to think and you have to find the answer through hints uh, in the questions okay then the question gives you uh, the enthalpy for species A uh, for species B and then the heat capacity for species A, heat capacity for species B and also the equilibrium constant of 100,000. So, caranya, first thing first is, um, let's find what is the rate law. Saya takkan tunjuk um, detail. Saya akan just bagi uh, cara tapi maybe the detail answer you have to find. So, contoh, the first step is you need to find uh, the rate law. So, rate law ni dia melibatkan equilibrium reaction. So, maksudnya you can cari A kepada B, kemudian B kepada A. So, soalan ni dia tak cakap pasal... Ada soalan dia akan bagi siap-siap what is the rate law. Tapi soalan ni dia tak bagi siap-siap what is the rate law. So maybe kalau dia dah tak bagi, so we can assume that um, this um, reaction, the rate law needs to be fine. And so means that you need to assume that A uh, producing B is going to be elementary in which that uh, you can uh, jadikan dia begini R A one one is about uh, untuk menunjukkan the first step here. So you akan dapat K one C A. Kemudian uh, R B two, which is also the same as R two A, is equals as K minus one C B. So, itu dia punya uh, rate law. So, nanti bila you cari dia punya RA net, meaning that you need to find RA1 plus RA2. So, you akan dapat K1CA um, minus K C B macam ni and previously we know that uh, equilibrium constant is equals to rate constant forward divided by rate constant uh, reverse so ni maksudnya rate constant forward ni reverse kan so katalah kita keluarkan K1 Kita factorize, so CA. 
So jawapan dia jadi begini. So meaning that um, this term you boleh tukarkan menjadi CA minus CB over KC. In it. Okay. Um, so the next step is we need to find um, when it is at equilibrium. Negative R A equals to zero. So your um, just now K one C A C B over K C equals to kosong. Ah. Uh, the other thing is you need to find. Stoichiometry. So C A because this is um, liquid phase. Okay, so you're gonna put F A naught. Ni sebenarnya you kena buat stoichiometric table etc. Tapi kalau dah expert actually you boleh terus dapatkan dia punya stoichiometry untuk CA So ni stoichiometry untuk CB So bersamaan dengan Okay So kalau you masukkan dapat um you masukkan uh, stoichiometry ini dalam uh, step number 2 so you actually get um, sama dengan kosong kan uh, untuk di equilibrium x ni kita boleh letak as x e means that x at equilibrium um, so kalau kita rearrange actually so nanti ni k1 equals to kosong uh, jadi kalau you kita rearrange in the end akan dapat um KC equals to So you better cancel out So meaning that KC equals to XE over 1 minus XE uh, Jadi Kalau kita jadikan XE as subject of equation Nanti ini you buat sendiri in which um, you are going to put kc equals to 1 plus kc. Okay, kenapa kita nak buat ni semua? Sebab nanti kita nak table out data sebenarnya. Okay, next step number 4. Um... Dalam soalan dia ada beri KC equals to 100. 
thousand. So kita boleh guna information ni dengan kita manipulate uh, this equation for example. In order, uh, in order to get our T two here, okay. Yang KC hundred thousand ni dia adalah dekat temperature dua ratus sembilan puluh lapan. Okay. Okay. Um, so kalau you masukkan semua information. In which, uh, katalah kita kata T1 adalah temperature 298, T2 adalah temperature dalam reaktor yang berubah-ubah. Okay. So, kita boleh jadikan um, Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, the... the The theory nya adalah KC katalah T2 bersamaan dengan KC T1 exponential one over T one minus one over T two. Okay, so katalah tadi T1 adalah temperature reference untuk KC equilibrium um, at temperature 298 and the value is already given. Kemudian um, T2 adalah temperature dalam reaktor yang saya sebut berubah. So kita nak cari juga nilai KC2 ni. Sebab kenapa kita nak kena cari? Nanti you tengok um, the steps seterusnya. So, kita develop this equation first at T2. So, this one is 100,000 exponential. Oh, um, delta HRX over R, this one you have to find. Sebab tadi dia bagi enthalpy, etc. Saya so takkan tunjuk. Um, tapi jawapan dia adalah kat sini, 20,000. So, R, you kena tengok units. Units 1.87. So, ni 298 tolak T. Okay. T2 lah tadi eh. Okay. Equation ni nanti kita akan guna. Sebab kita akan table out data. And those table will consist of um, temperature Kc Xe Um, X from energy balance. Okay, this this um, this this data. So T is the one that you create. For example, start dari I don't know, maybe start from two nine eight until. Sebab kita tak tahu temperature yang berlaku sebenarnya. So, maybe you can buat until 900, for example. So, bila you dah ada uh, ni, uh, this data scale-nya, yang you buat scale dia sendiri, for example. Okay. So, you boleh masukkan nilai temperature ni dalam nilai, uh, masukkan dalam Equation nombor 4 ni. T. Bila you masukkan nilai T yang you create dekat first column tadi. So, you boleh dapat nilai KC dekat sini. Bila you dapat nilai KC. You boleh dapat nilai XE. 
dekat sini tadi. Yang you ada formula tadi. Bila you dah dapat nilai X in. Um, okay. Dah dapat nilai X in. Um, actually, X in B ni adalah um, the one that you have to uh, derive from equation energy balance yang Q. Sebab dia kata diabetic kan. Uh, yang ni FA naught. So, ya. Yeah, yang ini you kena cari juga. Sorry. Tak, 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 tak cerita tadi. Okay. Uh, apa CP CPI uh, plus FA naught. Etc, etc, etc tu. Okay. Tengok balik energy balance. So, nanti you akan dapat um uh, XEB from uh, bila you masuk masuk masukkan ni, you akan dapat uh, T equals to T naught plus delta H R X X over summation CPI kan? Oh, so ini adalah X E B nya. Okay. Um, mana dapat XCB ni bila you masukkan nilai T ni juga kat sini. Yang dari sini ni you masukkan dalam ni. So T naught adalah dia bagi tadi as 300 right. So tadi delta HR uh, the heat operation you have to find um, yang ni you boleh cari juga. So XEB ni you boleh dapat uh, bila you masukkan semua information. So you akan dapat juga. So once you have all, all of this information actually what we want to do is uh, you we need to um, plot actually So, bila you plot adalah um, X versus T. Okay. So, X versus T yang nilai Nanti you akan guna T di kolom temperature tadi. So you akan guna uh, uh, X, XE tu. Data XE, you akan plot. Bila you plot, you akan dapat this kind of curve actually. Okay. So bila you dah plot um, XE, later you are going to plot XEB plot. So, XCP dekat 300 ni. Okay. So, ni plot XEB. So, dekat sini lah you will find your T exit. Okay. T exit a diabetic at a diabetic condition T exit and dekat sini adalah you dapat you punya conversion after going up from the reactor ok with that kita akan sambung dengan example next thank you